Kendra, Kendra, G, Kendra, G, Kendra G live. All right, so you're live with Kendra G, and it's always a pleasure to have company in the building. And I feel like I'm officially hot now because we got members in the building. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's kind of cold in here. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you're in the cold. building, it's always hot. This is why right. we hot. We still hot, man. Stop it. We still it. hot. We still hot. All we right, good. so let's talk about the new single, Move. Now, yeah. I love the joint, and we're in Philly. Now, have you heard some of the rumors that people are speculating that this song is kind of copying off of one of Philly's rappers, Gilly the Kid? Mm -hmm. I've heard it. What do you think about that statement? Um, I mean, I, I, it is what it is, you know. Um, I've heard Gilly. I've heard uh, Busta Rhymes touch it. I've heard... Everything from, I mean, it was another cat they compared it to, and I mean, I think that's what music is about. I mean, I've gotten this is why I'm hot compared to so many different records. Right. And I, I think it was necessary for me to do for my career, and that's what that's what I base it on. I mean, the fans and 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 and, and those who support it, I love them. I'm going to continue to make music, but this was actually a record that I needed for my career because coming off a record as big as this is why I'm hot, it was kind of hard try to, trying to reinvent myself into into this world when I had so many people saying, oh, you know, Mims, the, the Mr. This Is Why I'm Hot, man, he's a one-hit wonder. So for me, it's like, you know, I wanted to make a record that got back at, at the people's face and, right. and was up close and personal. And I think Move is a prime example of showing them how laid back I could be, but then also showing them how energetic I can get on a record. And, I, and that's why I did the record. Right. That way. So there's no truth to the whole situation that you kind of got it from Gilly the Kid? Nah, I, ne I never met Gilly. So, yeah, never, so never. There's, you don't even know him, so therefore you're not beefing with him? Nah, definitely not. Okay, I'm so sure Philly, yeah. look, it's all love. They haven't even met yet. Yeah, so we're going to stop the rumors right now. Uh-oh, I didn't know it was a rumor. Yeah, I mean, people <laughs> in Philly have been saying that, yeah. oh, Mims copy Gilly the Kid style yeah. off a of move. And I, I mean, also, Gilly the Kid is from Philly. Yeah. So, of course, they're going to ride with Philly, you know. Of course, of course. But, I mean, I'm happy that you're here in Philly to clear that up. And you don't even know Gilly the Kid, so there ain't no beef. No, I never, I and never you never married. jacked his style, so we're all good. Definitely, definitely not. Okay, wonderful. So when's the CD coming out? We got the um, single. We looking at we looking at April, sometime in April. The actual record, the LP is called uh, Guilt. Okay. It's guilt because I can go out there and live in a great home, you know, and I can drive nice cars, but I don't I don't ever want to disconnect from from reality. Whereas I can turn around and now my brother's in a, in a hoopty right. and trying to find a, a place to stay. So, wow. you know, that's real. That's real. Definitely. You mentioned too that people were saying when you dropped This Is Why It's Hot, they were labeling you as a one hit wonder. Do you yeah. feel like you have anything to prove this time around? You know what? I do say this, and, and, and this is my, like, if there's any, or oh, men and women, but if you're a grown up about it, if, if I come back with this record move, which is doing its thing right now, we just shot the video, it's incredible. My only question is if I. If I defy the odds and come back and become the two-hit wonder, go out and buy my album just for the respect factor. Because I got a lot of slack for the record, for having such a huge record in the beginning, and I'm cool with that. I'm, I, I don't mind that, but I'm a man too. So if I if I was ever wrong about something in my life, I make sure that when I when I eat my words, I go out and support it. So hopefully the people who eat their words out there, the naysayers, when I come back with this record and I got a lot more records to come, I want them to eat their words, but also go buy the Guilt album. It will be in stores in April. April is the day, so we're Definitely. going to support that. Mims is a family friend. I won't go into too deep with the personal questions, but do you have a girlfriend? Like, what's up with the love life? Yeah, you know, I'm grown. I'm a grown <laughs> man. I got to get my grown man on. I, I can't, I can't, I'm not the type of brother that could be single. Like, yeah, so, you have, so you have one girl? One. Definitely. Wow. One girl. How, how is, is, does she travel with you? Um, not often. Okay. You know, I, right now, I'm, I'm like really working hard on, on the album, so you know. But you're kinda, good when other girls try to holler at you. I'm you good. like, you good. I I'm, got a girl. Yeah, I'm cool. It's too much diseases out there, man. I can't. <laughs> Listen, oh, I feel you on the same tip. This is why, and this is probably, uh, I probably shouldn't feel this, but this is why I would never mess with anybody in the industry. Yeah. I'm too nervous that I might catch something. Yeah, you, you know what? You gotta, you gotta start weighing it out. It's like, okay, I could live this lifestyle, but this might be the repercussion. I, I don't want to one day take a look in my pants and see something that I'm not supposed to see. Like, I want my stuff to remain c consistent for the rest of my life. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, man. Yeah, cool. Just, just, just pause yeah. right there. But I will have you do this, though. I'm doing an initiative right now for teenage girls. And they have taken an um, a oath to say no to sex this whole entire school year. Okay. And I'm doing it with them in order to be a good role model. Definitely. So, as a male, can you just talk to the teenage girls and also middle school girls mm. and tell them why, like, you know, not having sex in high school is actually a good thing. Not having sex. Not having sex. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna tell you. I'm. I'm gonna put it out there. I actually lost my virginity after I got out of high school. Are you, you know, serious? No, applause. 
that's that. Right. Yeah. No, but you know what? Because it's a great thing. It's it a great is a thing. great, thing, great then. thing. But no, no wait. Does this ruin we're, your hip hop? The, no, it won't. It won't. It won't. I mean, it it's, can't. It's good for hip hop. Matter of fact, I have, exactly. I'm happy that you said that. Exactly. So I mean, I th I think like uh, um, some form of abstinence is always great. You know, especially for the for the, for young children because I don't think they know enough about you know, STDs and diseases right. to be going out there acting crazy. I actually raised single parent. My mom was single parent mother. Raised two, me and my brother. She had my brother when she was 17, had me when she was about 18 and a half. So that is the truth. You want to make sure that you got your life in order. And ladies, I'm going to say something. Guys could say anything they want to get you in the bed, but it's really what goes on after the fact that really matters because that one night of pleasure can cause a lifetime of pain, for real. I love him. Yeah. Kendra, Kendra G. Kendra G. Kendra G. Live.